Welcome to my channel Design with Ruzve. As I explained in my previous video, my goal is to review and provide solutions for all CSWA practice problems. Today we'll be working on problem 1.2. So without further ado, let's dive into this problem. The first and the most important step when you're working on a model is always checking unit of measurement. As you can see, unit of measurement for this question is millimeter gram second. And we need to ensure our solid work has the same setting. Then, looking at the model, I see some dimensions defined on the front view. My preference is to start from the front view, have a 2D sketch, and then go from there. So, let's do that. Let's go to SOLIDWORKS, click on a sketch, click on a sketch, choose front plane. And then here, we want to roughly sketch the same things as we've seen on the front view. So, we go to the right, then go top, this, this, then we go up again, then we go up, going down to the left and going back to the starting point. And we also need another sketch starting from here, going to the right, going to top, and finally to the right. Okay, so now we have this sketch for the front view. You may ask why I didn't make a sketch for those two small cylinders on the top. The reason is that right now I want to focus on the major part of the geometry. Those two cylinders, we can always take care of them at the end. So let's not focus on them for now and then just focus on the ballpark of the geometry. Now that we have this sketch, for the front view, we start dimensioning this sketch. So this line is 78 millimeter. The depth of the cutout should be 36. The distance between these two lines should be 5 millimeter. This width should be 16. This width should be 24 millimeter. And the height of this first section must be 8. Also, from looking at the geometry, we know that this line and this line must be collinear. So I'm choosing this option from the left side of the SOLIDWORKS. There's one more dimension, and that's the angle between this line and this line, which should be 65. Okay. So right now I used every dimension that I've seen on the front view and you can see all these dimensions are used. However, um, the geometry is not fully constrained. As you know, if all these lines are black, then that means the geometry is fully defined. Otherwise, it's not fully defined. So how can we make this geometry fully defined? We need to add more dimensions. Where can we find those dimensions? The answer is other views. If you look at the left view, you see that we have two dimensions in the bottom. We have 18 millimeter and 28, which are thicknesses of the part. At this moment, uh, we don't want to use those dimensions. It, they're important for extrusion, but not right now. But you can see there are three other dimensions, 16 millimeter, 18 and 58. As you can see, the distance from the bottom line to the first line is 8 mm. And from bottom line to the second line, it's 16 mm. And same for other section. We can use this 18 mm for a height of the second section, and the overall height is 58. So let's add these dimensions. So, distance from bottom line to the second line should be 16 mm. And the height of second line is 18 millimeter and the overall height from bottom line to the highest point must be 58 okay that's better now we have more black lines that's a good news there are only two lines that are not fully defined how can we define these lines if we go back to the main geometry you see that on the top view we have the widths of the top section. We know that that section with a cylinder on top, that section must have widths of 15 millimeters. So let's add that dimension as well. 
so I'm gonna add 15 millimeter to this top section okay so now we have a fully defined or fully constrained geometry that means that it the geometry is ready for the extrusion so what we need to do we need to click on extruded bus and then SOLIDWORKS ask us to choose the contour that we want to use for extrusion. To do that, first I choose the bottom contour. So now the question is, what's the thickness I want? The thickness is defined on the left view. You can see that the overall thickness, that this big section, has 28 millimeter thickness. So let's use 28. That's going to be 28 millimeter and yeah, that's good. Now we need to extrude other section of the geometry. How can we do that extrusion? Again, click on extruded bus. You don't need to plot a 2D sketch again. You can simply go to model 3 on the top, go to bus extrude 1, and again choose the previous sketch. Now when I select this sketch, it will be activated for me. And SOLIDWORKS asks me to choose a new contour. To do that, I choose this contour. Now, what's the thickness I want for this contour? If we go back to the 2D sketch, we see that the thickness should be 18 millimeter. So I use 18 millimeter. And we're done. So with two bus extrude feature, now we have um, a geometry which is kind of close to the final geometry however we are missing two small pieces those two cylinders that I talked about in the very beginning those two parts needs to be added so if you take a look at the 3d model you see that those cylinders are on the top surface we know that the diameter of these cylinders are six millimeter and they are seven millimeter away from side edges so let's draw a sketch for those two cylinders. To do that, again, I go back to the sketch tab, click on the sketch. This time, instead of typical front, top, or right plane, I simply choose this surface that I want to draw a circle on it. So when you select that, the surface is selected. Now, I have one circle here and I draw another circle here. From the 2D sketch, we know that the diameter of the circle must be 6 mm. So we choose 6 mm for both of them. And we know that the distance between the center of the circle and a side edge should be 7.5. So we do that for both circles. 7.5 and then finally we know that the dimensions between the center of the circle and a side edge should be 7 millimeter so I choose this one 7 and this one 7 okay so now we have two fully defined circle so they're ready for the extrusion process so now, what's the height of these cylinders? If you go to the main question, you see that the height of these cylinders here is six millimeters. So we can simply extrude those two circles by six millimeter. Let's do that. We go back to our model, we click on a feature, we click on extrude bus, and we choose six millimeter height for these two cylinder. And that's it. Okay. So I think we're done here. The last step is always checking and making sure that our model is correct. To do that, what we can do, as you can see in a question, the total volume is provided. The total volume must be 70,039 cubic millimeter. Let's check the total volume in our model. To do that, you go to Evaluate tab, you click on Mass Properties, and you can read the volume. As you can see, the volume that we have here is exactly the same. It's 70,039.2 cubic millimeter. This means that our model is correct and it's clearly representative of what we've seen in a main question.
Okay, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have feedback or question, please leave comment down below. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ruzbe. Hope to see you again soon in the next video.